Josh is a central defender. Tell it what it's like going up against a player like Didier Drogba and what it is you have to do to try and stop him this time. Yeah, um, it's quite a challenge. You know, I've never faced anybody uh, you know, not quite like that. He's just a, you know, he's a, a physical presence, big, uh, uh, you know, he's a physical player, and uh, you just got to put numbers around him. Um, you, you know, but at the end of the day, he's got a lot of uh, support around him as well. So we can't be focused too much on him. You know, he's, he's a good player. We all know that. Uh, you, you know, but I thought we need to do more of what we did in the first half and keep the lines tight. And uh, you, you know, if I think if we do that, uh, we'll have some success. You said you've not faced anyone quite like him. Was it as you expected, or were there some things during the game that he would do that surprised you? Like um, no, nah, it was pretty much as expected. You know, he's just a beast. He's a beast of a player. Um, but uh, you, you know, at the end of the day, we can't give him too much. Uh, you, you know, it came too much respect. You, you know, he is a good player. We know that, but uh, you know, we need to focus on what we, we need to do. And, and I think if we do that, uh, you, you know, we'll have a favorable outcome. You have, have you? your own, sorry, Neil, you have your own superstar on the team in Jovinko. Tell us what he's done for this club, not just on the field but off it as well. What, what's he brought to the team this season? Um, <laughs> I mean, it's hard. I don't know what else to say. You know, I think everything's been said about him. He's, he's an unbelievable player. Uh, he's a good leader. He's a good guy to have in the locker room. Um, you know, we lean on him a lot. You know, he's a special player. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, uh, uh, we, we all need to do our roles. You know, we all need to play our roles. And uh, uh, you know, when you got someone that's special, you just um, you, you know you try to give the ball to him in, in, in favorable spots, and uh, you, you know, let him work his magic. What kind of opponent is Drogba to play uh, against in terms of does he talk to you much, or is it just uh, is there any interplay, smack talk, or anything? Um. <laughs> um I don't know. I won't say what what, what all is said on the field, but uh, I'm somebody that likes to talk a little bit. You know, it kind of keeps me into the game. Um, you, you know, but him, no, not really. I don't think he's too too interested in what I have to say. I'm not really interested in what he has to say either. So, um, you know, there's little things here and there, but uh, um, you know, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm focused on what I'm doing. There was a lot at stake in Sunday's game. There's even more at stake in Thursday's game. Do you feel in the build-up? Do you feel things have ratcheted up? Uh, yeah, it's the playoffs. You know, everything, uh, intensity to focus, um, diet, it, rest. You know, it all it all, it all raises at this time of the year. So, uh, um, you know, that's it. It, it. It's playoff times. There's nothing else to be said about it. Also mentioned on Sunday that there are some nerves in the second half within the squad. You felt some. You're away. You're playing the franchise's first playoff game. You're at Montreal Stadium against your rivals. How do you control those emotions? Um. Who said that? Jonathan. Jonathan, I saw. Oh, um, Did you find it on Sunday? Uh, I think we lost the game for about 15 minutes. There's a 15 uh, at the end of the or start of the second half. I feel, I feel like the game got away from us a little bit. Um, you know, I think it's just. Uh, now that we've been through that, you, you know, we kind of know what to expect. The first half, I thought we did everything that, that we wanted to do, and, and it was, you know, we were playing how, how exactly how we wanted to play. And then the second half, the, the start, I think it got away from us. And uh, you, you know, we just got to have a little composure and look around and then lean on our leaders. And um, uh, you know, I think if we do that. I think we'll, we'll be all right. Josh, there's times where Drogba and some impact players may have gone down a little bit soft. And the other way, your, your star player Jabinko uh, wasn't getting any calls, and he was visibly frustrated on the field. Do you feel like he's not getting the level of respect that he should get from MLS officials? Um, I've only been here for about 12, 13 games, and uh, you know he does get beat up a little bit. Uh, he's not the biggest guy in the world. You know, he's a little he's a little smaller than Drogba, but uh, um, I'm hoping that that uh, he gets the respect he deserves. You, you know, I think he's done enough to to earn that right. Um, and, and the whole thing with Drogba, I'm not going to comment on that. That's uh, I don't think they need any more locker room material. So uh, you know, I'm going to avoid that that situation. But uh, it, yeah, for our guy, I think uh, Seb has definitely done enough to uh, get the respect he deserves and, and and be protected a little more.